challenge to ensue as each blames the other for the violence witnessed in the Kibra by-election. A new narrative has unfolded as Jubilee MPs now claim that Interior CS Fred Matiangi and his principal secretary Karanda Kibicho were part of the plot to plan goons in Kibra during the by-elections. The push and pull between the Jubilee and ODM legislators has continued to ensue, with a new narrative unfolding on what orchestrated the violence in Kibra by elections. Jubilee legislators now claim that Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi and his principal secretary Karanja Kibicho had a meeting with opposition leader Raila Odinga the night before the by election to organize the violence witness during the polls. But we are aware that Mr. Odinga. Cabinet Secretary Matiangi and PSK Bishop had a meeting the night before the elections at a hotel in Karen. And it is not no wonder then that the goons that were commandeered and commanded by Simba Arati, none of them, either Simba Arati or his goons, none of them can be arrested because they have the protection and the patronage of people in the office of the president. The legislators allied to Deputy President William Bruto have insisted that they will not record any statement to the Director of Criminal Investigation on the matter since it will be a waste of time. Kimilili Member of Parliament Didimas Barasa, who was assaulted in the scaffold in the Kibra by election, is allegedly hospitalized in South Africa after being injected by a known substance. Honorable Didmas Barasa is currently in South Africa and he informs us that he was injected with some substance and is seeking <laughs> medical treatment in South Africa. We are yet to establish what that substance was. Further, the William Ruto allies have alluded that opposition leader Raila Odinga is using the handshake for his political ambition and not for saving the country from electoral polls violence. I want to tell them that one, as Jubilee members of parliament, we shall not allow ODM to blackmail, coerce, or threaten President Uhuru Kenyatta. The president's objectives and intentions with the handshake are well known to Kenyans. It was to seek non-violent resolution of issues that affect the country, including elections. And it is clear that Odinga and his brigade of goons had other motives with the handshake. Odinga and ODM in Kibra was exactly what the BBI sought to stop. Odinga has brazenly subverted the handshake in the full glare of national and international media. In a quick rejoinder, ODM members of parliament led by Suba East MP Jeanette Mohammed have revealed that the narrative by Jubilee MPs are based on lies and are just mere propaganda. So the people who have perpetrated violence in this country are known. Nobody died in Kibra constituency, but there are people they have killed, Tanga Tanga killed in Malindi, in Ganda Ward. Somebody lost his life. We went and buried him. Mi nilipoingia katika mashimoni, nilipata didi masasha nyanganyo kofia mapema asubui. Sudi alikuwa mekimbizo kupitia kwa cho. Kalingia kwa miskiti ya laini saba. Ya laini saba. <laughs> Na mweshimiwa chifu ipu alimuona akingia katika, akipita kwa hiyo cho straight mpaka katika miskiti, miskiti ndani. Washaile alikuwa kwa sababu alikamatwa wakipeana pesa wakionga watu Deputy President William Ruto has been accused of using the Kibra by election as a pipeline to oppose the handshake as well as the Building Bridges Initiative report This is an initiative that has been started by his boss His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta It's not about Kibra we know what he's doing He's laying ground to oppose the BBI report He's laying ground to scuttle the handshake in the guise of uh, not accepting defeat in Kibra. Ruto had last week launched a scathing attack on opposition leader Raila Odinga and ODM party, saying Odinga and his party were responsible for the violence that rocked Kibra during the by-election. We demand that ODM and their leadership in public unequivocably unconditionally renounce the politics and culture of intimidation, of violence, of mayhem, of terror, because 
Terror and violence and fear are the tools of trade of terrorists and outlawed organizations. He challenged Raila to apologize to those who have been affected by the violence publicly. Violence sparked in several regions during the Kibra by-election as some Jubilee members of parliament and political agents were assaulted over claims of voter bribery. Irene Mwangi, KUTV.